Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque and you get another 130 pound feet off of the line. Now before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you can see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Taking a look at the hood, first off you guys can see this is finished in Delmonico red, which is such a pretty paint color. But anyways, raises up towards the center and you got your 1500 e-torque badge here on the side. Here's a closer look at that. And then we do have halogen headlights with the big horn. You guys can see lots of chrome trim here, but notice the center of the grille is all blacked out. Fog light action down below and then you guys can see the bumper also chrome. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the front end of this Bighorn. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see with the wheels silver in color to kind of match the theme of this truck. And yeah, just look at the color in the sunlight. Anyways, no fender flares on the Bighorn like normal. You guys can see Ram logo there on the side. And then no stuff like the mirrors and the door handles are black. And then here's your full side view with the Bighorn. It looks like this one has the six and a half foot box. Now here is the key fob, we got the RAM logo there on the back, unlock and lock function, remote starts as well. Now popping into the bed, the tailgate is dampened when it lowers, and you guys can see we don't have bed line or anything from the factory, but that is something that's very easy to add in after the fact, and yeah, this is definitely a six foot four bed with this one. Anyways, when you're all done, just boom, super light, and you guys can see all of the badges here on the back, got the regular tail lights here, chrome with the bumpers and with the exhaust tips. Putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the looks here of the Bighorn. Now taking a look at the door panel here, you guys can see the darker trim at the top. Look at the cloth trim down below and then the stitching and padding here and then tons of storage at the bottom. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see lighter cloth trim than darker here on the side. We do have a flat loading floor. You can just pick up the seat to see that. And does this one have it? Yes, this one has ice buckets. The Laramie I reviewed did not, but at least this one has it. Leg room back here is really good. We also have a little storage pocket, and then you guys can see some vents here in the back. And of course, we have a cup holder armrest set up, and then headroom back here. It's good. So, looking at the front, we do have soft touch here at the top where you'd rest your arm, and then you guys can see down below with the darker trim, the cloth trim, and then more soft touch. All of our window controls, front two, are automatic. We've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in, and there's a quick look at them. We've got a little convex mirror. And then you guys can see here, 1673 with the payload capacity. And then here are the front seats, again, cloth, lighter in color, all down the center. Manually adjustable, and then we got our light controls here at the fog light and the cargo light, and then you got your parking brake down below. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice trim all around. We do have radio controls there on the back of the steering wheel. We got controls for the cruise control, your gear limiter controls for center stack, voice command phone controls as well. And then you got your little stock there in the back. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster, you guys can see analog on either side. And then we've got this screen here in the center, which we can use to scroll through different bits of info on the truck, obviously a smaller size screen. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera here with trajectory lines. You also have the zoom in function there with the receiver hitch. And then as for the infotainment system itself, you got a shortcut bar here at the bottom. Responds pretty well, it has a clicky sound. Interesting. Um, but overall, I mean, easy enough to use. And then notice here with the dash, uh, and then you guys can see a 12 volt there at the top, then you got this darker trim right here. And then down below, we've got Ram's more advanced four wheel drive system. So four wheel auto, two wheel high, four wheel high, and then four wheel low. You've got your auto stop start with the dial shifter. And then you guys can see, we've got our little climate control area. So single zone climate, we do have heated seats and heated steering wheel. You get your radio controls, your tall hall mode, stability control as well. And then we've got some USB action there and we have our little storage cubby here as well, which is pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> and then this one has a bench seat. It's a nice padding here on the top, some cup holder action. Got the seat there and then picking it up, we got more storage underneath the seat. And all I gotta say is RIP tripod. Anyways, got the double glove box set up here. Nice, it says Bighorn there on the outside. And then this actually has a power sliding rear window. Pretty cool. 
So here's our window sticker for this Bighorn. You guys can see base MSRP is 53,000 roughly. We've got all the standard equipment. A few options on this like Bighorn um, 27Z package or level one equipment group rather. Anyways, $57,890 is the total MSRP on this one after all options. Do, 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 do. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility here with the big horn. Here's visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Ram Big Horn. So I just reviewed a Laramie just before this, and I'm kind of <laughs> surprised at the the decontenting of the trucks, I guess is what I will call it. It's it's just very strange, very very interesting. Um, this has some options that that Laramie didn't have. Um, so for example, um, power sliding rear window. This has it, Laramie didn't have it. And then uh, another one is the ice buckets in the back. This has them, the Laramie doesn't. So it's, it's just kind of strange what Ram is doing with the packages on their vehicles. What it looks like now from my perspective is the Laramie basically gives you the leather seats, leather, I shouldn't say leather seats because they're not full. So the leather trim seats, um, heated and cooled, and it gives you a power seat for the driver. And it looks like that's what the Laramie is now, because there's no, and, and then LED taillights, but no LED headlights. Weird, really, really weird at the difference. We're actually getting up and moving here with the big horn. Good torque out of the Hemi so far. Yeah, I will always love this Hemi. It's such a such a good powertrain. It's quiet too. I think they've done a good job with that. Um, now, seat comfort in the Big Horn is really good. These are still my favorite seats in this segment of pickup trucks. So, like compared to Ford XLT, Silverado LT, um, you know, GMC Sierra Elevation. Yeah, even even with uh, Toyota, um, with the what SR5, uh, you know, all the trucks in the segment. I, I like these seats the most. I think they're the most comfortable. But yeah, pretty quiet, smooth as well with the suspension, everything. Uh, the Ram trucks have this nice planted feel that I have really come to appreciate. That is for sure. And give it a little bit of space here, but we'll kind of get on it some. Feel that Hemi power. Nice sound, getting smooth. Pretty cool overall. So, I just wanna keep feeling a little bit more. Yeah, good on the highway, it's very comfortable. It's basically a luxury car. So Ram still held, held true that. So to sum things up here at the Bighorn, um, again, not much has changed with this since its initial release. It just seems like, again, what I've noticed so far with the 24 Rams is, is it seems like there's less standard equipment. It seems like you have to order more packages if you want options. So it does make the overall value proposition a little bit different. Makes it a little bit different. But aside from that, I mean, it's comfortable, it drives well, the engine's great. And I think this one's pretty nicely optioned out. The only thing that maybe I would add to this would be dual zone climate. Um, Cause you know, sometimes that's nice to have. And then a power seat as well. But let me know your thoughts on the uh, 2024 Bighorn with how it's optioned out and everything. Oh, and also the six foot four bed. I mean, I drove this back to back to the Laramie that had a five seven bed don't really notice a difference in the ride or the maneuverability. They drive pretty much the same. But anyways, let me know your thoughts.